Hello YouTube, this is Beedrew1111, Gamertag Beedrew93, and um, and uh, I got some uh, pretty uh, pretty mad news to get to bring you um, today. Um, uh, by the time this is actually uploaded, it's probably everyone knows already, but still, whatever, I'm going to do the video anyway. I was just flicking through my phone, I was on um, on Flipboard, on my app, on my phone, and on um, the Google uh, page, and, and what cropped up, I, I couldn't believe my eyes, but basically, um, Oh, what's it called? Two seconds. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so excited. Uh, well, not excited. This is pretty mad. Like, but Sony Online Entertainment, a company, um, Sony's company, which makes uh, games like um, H1Z1, uh, EverQuest, PlanetSide, DC Universe Online, some some huge titles for Sony, exclusively to Sony and PlayStation and all that. They have just, just. It has just been announced they have been bought, or, or should I say, Sony has sold uh, Sony Online Entertainment to a company that is now been, going to be called Daybreak Game Company. Now, um, what's pretty incredibly mad about this is the fact that, like, well, one, doesn't that just show, um, like, I basically, I've done a video recently about um, the financial situation of Sony. Um, it, it, it's all, you know, it's very apparent, it's very... You know, there's no, um, it's, it's not exactly a, a massive secret. Anyone who knows how to work Google can see that Sony hasn't been in the best money situation. But for them to sell some of their biggest titles, and, and, and if that wasn't bad enough, to sell Sony Online Entertainment, that, that's like, that's massive. Like, I, I'm, I mean, I don't know how much the transaction was, or, you know, um, I, I'll, I'll will find out for like a future video. This is literally just me thinking, wow, i got to do a video quickly. Um, but yeah, um, wow. Um, so yeah, so that basically, let's just say this much, like, that basically just goes to show how, um, how like, you know, desperate they are for money. They've sold one of their biggest, uh, well, assuming at one point, at one stage, it was one of their biggest uh, money makers, and they've sold it to an independent company, Daybreak Game Company. Um, um, no, sorry, that's a lie. Um, it has been sold by Sony to investment firm Columba no Columbus Nova, um, and uh, the developers will now operate as an independent game studio under the new name of Daybreak Game Company. So sorry, I had that wrong. It wasn't Daybreak Game Company that bought it. It was Columbus Nova, and now it's going to be an independent game studio called Daybreak Game Company. So yeah, so basically, and this is where it gets even more interesting. I can already hear some cries because I know I'd be upset. I know, I know if games like Halo and Gears of War and Fable were going to be going multi-platform, I I would like genuinely be a bit like, oh, that's a bit gutting because it you wear it proudly on your on your arm almost. You know, it, it's it's part of the platform that you've chose to be a part of and. You know, and that's why, I, in a sense, I do quite feel for PlayStation and Sony at the moment because with this transaction, games like um, H1Z1, um, EverQuest, um, EverQuest Next, um, and uh, other games projects um, that have started at Sony Online Entertainment and were strictly Sony's property are now going to be developed for uh, and, and more titles, all titles in the future now um, under this new company, um, Daybreak Game Company. Um, all those things I just mentioned, H1Z, when EverQuest next, EverQuests, um, you know, games like that from SOE are all going to be multi-platform. It's not going to be just Sony anymore. They, they have literally stated um, we are going to be developing titles for Xbox, PlayStation, PC, and mobile platforms. It will not just be PlayStation. Um, so yeah, um, I could read all day. There's a lot to read on this article, but um, okay, well, let's just have a quick look because um, this is the first I've seen this article myself. I just couldn't wait to record. Uh, so what exactly does this mean for you? Um, so what exactly does this mean for you? It will be business as usual, and all SOE games will continue on their current path of development and operation. Um, the developer said in post on Reddit, in fact, we expect to have even more resources available to us as a result of this acquisition. 
It also means new exciting developments for our existing IP and games as we can now fully embrace the multi-platform world that we are living in. So basically, it, to put it simply, all games that have been under SOE, like the ones I just mentioned, H1Z1, EverQuest, DC Universe, that kind of thing, and basically all the new interest, all the new games that are going to be developed under this new company, um, Daybreak Game Company, are going to be multi-platform, not one specific platform. So um, just to end this video, um, I've said for a while how Sony's in, been in a pickle in terms of money. Um, they, they, I said with the Spotify app, even though that was only a small investment, uh, I, I did. I've said for a while they've ha you know they have to do something, otherwise they're going to go out of business. And this is obviously one of those big things. So um, yeah. So in a way, maybe it's a good move on Sony to keep them, you know, keep them afloat. But at the same time, what a blow to the chest, to say the least. I mean, to lose such big games, it's like it's like if Halo, you know, got you know if Microsoft were in the same situation and had to get rid of Halo and Gears of War, like multi-platform, I'd be truly devastated. So I can really quite sympathise for any PlayStation, Sony fans who are hearing this news for the first time. So um, so yeah, um, uh, that's it. That's the end of the video. Not the most structured video. I literally read it and was just like. Uh, okay, cool. Wow, run upstairs. Got to do a video. So um, that's why I'm half naked. I was literally just about to get in the shower, <laughs> and then I quickly put my trousers back on and came into here to do the video. So um, so yeah, that's it, guys. Um, all I have to say is wow, really. I mean, like I might be blowing it a bit out of proportion, but my first reactions reading that like first couple of sentences was literally just like. Love, get the beers out of the fridge. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a video quickly, and then I just, oh, oh, I just dropped everything I was doing. I was about to have a nice, comfortable shower, maybe a bubble bath, and now I'm doing this video. So, uh, right, that's it, guys. Um, yeah, wow. So, uh, yeah, keep tuning in for some more videos. Um, sorry, this video is quite random and not very well structured, but like I said, it was very random indeed. So, um, thank you for listening, guys. I'm about to have a nice bubble bath, as in, as I originally intended. Cheers guys, bye bye. <laughs>